Good morning, my Mali Mai. I hope you had a lovely sleep and you've been very good for your mummy. I saw some beautiful photos of you that your big sister Flo had been, been having fun putting on some of mummy's makeup on you. That's always nice doing that with your big sisters. I used to put makeup on my little on my little sister, Danny. She would be your maybe your great aunt. Your great aunt. She was such a pretty girl with lots of curly hair. I used to like putting makeup on her. Well, today I have a story for you. I'm sorry I haven't had more stories that have come to you, but we've been packing up the house and cleaning and getting ready for Christmas things. So, but I have a book today which is called The Cat Wants Custard. Now, I haven't read this one to see if it is appropriate and suitable for you. So fingers crossed, it'll be lovely and it'll be a nice surprise. Have a good story. This is also from your cousin, Molly. Um, yeah, I was just thinking that you, we might get, to, might get to meet you next year and meet your cousin, Molly, as well. And she'll have some more stories for you. So let's have a look. The cat wants custard. Hmm. You've got a dog at home, not a cat, have you? So you have your choppy and he goes ruff, ruff. And cats, your uncle Ben, he has a cat called Morty. And his cat goes meow, meow. That's what cats do. Let's see what that's, oh, I wonder what it's about. Kevin, Kevin, <laughs> really? You have to shout while I'm trying to sleep. I guess the cat's name is Kevin. That's an unusual name for a cat, isn't it? Kevin. Time for dinner, Kevin, is what his mummy shouts, or his human mummy. Now you've got my attention, but I'm not that easy. Keep talking. Cats are a little bit fussy. They're not like Choppy. And he's happy to do anything. He'll even eat a carrot. Cats are a little bit, a little bit more fussy and particular. How about a special treat, Kevin? Treat? That's all you had to say. A treat. I think Kevin's a bit precious. Just bring me the dessert menu. I feel like something sweet. Ice cream, maybe. Hmm? Lemon meringue pie. And only if it comes with cream. Hang on, I know exactly what I'm in the mood for. I want custard. <laughs> he looks happy, doesn't he, that he wants some custard. Custard is delicious, it's like sweet. Sweet milk that's yellow and thick. Oh, he's imagining it. Waiter, fetch me a bowl of your best custard. <laughs> well, oh, that's his human mummy's legs. He's looking up. Well, what are you waiting for? Haven't I made myself clear? <laughs> Stretching, reaching, stretching, hang on, so all these, the cat's doing all sorts of things. He goes, phew, that was exhausted. Do you get the hint now? Oh, can you see? He spelt out the word custard. C-U-S-T-A-R-D, custard. Do you think N Nanny, nearly Nanny Deb didn't get this? <laughs> no, I don't want my tummy rubbed. <laughs> look, he thinks <laughs> he's in a bowl with a yellow jumper on trying to look like custard. See what I'm fetching for you? <laughs> what rhymes with mustard? <laughs> look. I'm hiding in a yellow sweater, sitting in a bowl. Remind you of anything? I don't think they're getting the idea. I just don't understand why it's so hard to get good service in this house. Well, this is one final, there is one final hope. <laughs> Looking at the fridge. Oh. 
There must be some custard in the fridge. All good things come out of there. Yes. <laughs> I'll just wave my paw and the door will open. Do you think that's how a fridge opens? Hmm, Nanny's fridge doesn't open like that. Or not. Maybe it just needs a password. Meow. I don't think that works either. Nope. If I sit here long enough and stare at the door, surely it will open. Like this. No. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> I'll just make sure. And don't blink. <laughs> Three o'clock. Four o'clock, seven o'clock, eight o'clock, <laughs> nine o'clock. Oh, his human mummy has come down, but he's fast asleep. <laughs> you missed out. <laughs> Snoring. I'm awake. What's this? The fridge is open. Ba -ba. There's the custard. And there is my delicious prize. Yum! I knew they were holding out for me. Uh-oh. He's jumped inside the fridge. That's not good news. It's a bit cold in the fridge. Oh, no. Now to feast on this lovely, yellow, slimy, cold... <laughs> Yuck! He doesn't like slimy cold custard. It's much nicer in the in when it's been in the microwave, or you heat it up in the saucepan. It's nice and warm. <laughs> oh, you think he'd just eat it anyway? <laughs> oh dear. So this is what custard tastes like. Mm. Maybe I was thinking about mashed potato. <laughs> Waiter, please bring me some mashed potato. <laughs> oh dear, he's got custard all over the bed. He's naughty. I think, I think Kevin is a little bit of a naughty cat. <laughs> oh dear, I'm going to go and visit your cousin Molly this afternoon. And, and say hello to your gui, which is your mummy's mummy's mummy. And I'm going to get some more books for her because this one, this one is my last one. I was just having a look that um, I haven't got any more. So I've finished them all, so I'll get some more books for you to read. And then we'll get some Christmas carols, Christmas carols and Christmas stories. So I'll read some Christmas stories for you because Nanny sent you some presents to go under your Christmas tree. Yay! Um, well, the news, it's hot hot here today. It is about 31 degrees. Um, that's about it really. We haven't been doing anything exciting. We, um, no, we just came back from holidays and then we started cleaning the house. Uh, your uncle Ben's coming over tomorrow. Um, he's been doing some work at a school teaching children and he really enjoys his job. Okay, well I hope that you have a good day with your mummy when you wake up and you'll have a story to listen to. And uh, let me see, it will be your Thursday when you wake up. What happens on Thursdays? Mm. So normally Nanny would work but we had, didn't have any work that was on today so it is just a cleaning day. Um, I wonder what happens on your Thursdays. Is it a go to the park day? Mm. Okay well I hope to see what you are doing today later on. Um, it'll be when I wake up in the morning and you can tell me what you've had done in your day. All right my darling Marley Moo. Remember how to do your kisses to your Nanny? And they'll go all the way to Australia. Are you ready? <gasps> or you can do a big one. And blow it right on my cheek. Okay. You have a really good day. And I will talk to your mummy soon and she'll tell me all of your news. But soon when you're a big girl and you'll be able to tell me all of your news yourself. Okay. Um, well, I think, I wonder if you're crawling soon. 
it's nearly time for you to be on your hands and knees and do some little movements with your body so that you can start moving across across the lounge. Do you like Nanny's um, chair that she sent you with wheels on? It's like being it's like being upright and being able to walk on your legs. Okay. All right. Well, give Choppy a kiss. Give Flo a big cuddle. Give Mummy a big squeeze and Daddy a kiss as well. Okay. I will see you soon. Bye-bye.